Okay, this is a fun problem. Definitely not an easy one. And it says here that we have the sequence a to the n and is defined as 1 over n minus 1 over n plus 2. Now, they want to know if n is an integer where it could be greater than or equal to 1, what is the sum of the first 20 terms? That is where n is 1 all the way up to where n is 20. Now, whatever you do, do not try to do this in your head. Just for fun, I did it this morning, almost fell out of my chair. Much better idea is write it out and look for a pattern. So we want to start very small, where n is 1. If I plug that into here, what do I get? So if n equals 1, let's do the work down here. We get 1 over 1, where n is 1, minus, and again, we're putting the 1 in here, 1 over 1 plus 2 is 1 over 3. So that's n to the 1. Now we're looking for sum, so we're going to add this. And now we're going to look for, well, what is n equal to 2? So we would put the 2 over here, that would give us 1 half. Put the 2 over here, that would give us minus 1 fourth. Any pattern yet? No. Now you may be tempted to say, well, let's just simplify this. Let's make this 2 thirds, and let's make this, mm, and right away you can see that it's going to take a little bit longer to do it that way. That, of course, is equal to just 1 fourth. But the thing is, look down at the answer choices. A through E, what do you notice? Well, they kept them in parentheses for the most part. So you want to do the same thing. And there's going to be a pattern there because notice that you're starting with what looks like to be the very extreme. Notice A is one in parentheses, 1 plus 1 half. Here we have 1. Here we have a half. But still, we have to keep on going a little bit more to really pick up on a pattern. So let's do that. And is now equal to 3. So in these parentheses, we get 1 third minus 1 fifth. Okay, has anything happened yet? Well... Notice this 1 third minus 1 third over here. You now have a plus 1 third there. Aha, that cancels out. And if I were to write another thing, and I'm of course running out of space here, but it would start with 1 fourth. And you can see, oh, if n is equal to 4, it starts 1 fourth minus, and then 1 sixth. I'm not going to write that, but you can see that that cancels out. That cancels out, because minus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth is 0. So the only things that really didn't cancel out here were the 1 and the half. But starting with the 1 third, we're going to cancel things up all the way to the end. And so now that we've identified that pattern, we can say, well, the left-hand side, it starts with 1 plus a half. And like that, you can eliminate C, D, and E. Now we're left with A and B. So answer choice A and B, and I'll write that over there. Now what can we do? Well, let's start at the other extreme where n is equal to 20. So if n is equal to 20, what do we get? Well, again, it's the sum broken off in the middle here with all this other stuff, but it gives us 1 over 20 minus 1 over 22. Now, does that help us out? Well, we've started kind of far, so maybe it's a good idea to bring it in a little bit. So we're going to come down here, and we're going to see this dot, dot, dot. That comes from a term that is next to 1 to the 20th minus 1 to the 22. But I'm going to bring it in just a little bit, and I'm going to assume n is 18. So I'm going to 18, 1 18th minus 1 20th. And again, I'm writing out the right-hand most part. Now n is 19, 1 minus 19 over, or minus 1 over 21. And then that gets me up to this point here, which is plus 1 20th minus 1 over 22. So what happens exactly? Well, this 18 here is going to cancel out. This 19 is going to cancel out before we know that because of this system here. But what happens? Who are the odd then that? Well, minus 120 can be matched up with plus 120. But at that point, 21 is never matched with anywhere. There's only one 1 over 21. And there's only one 1 over 22. And so as a result, you know that the answer must be B. Again, we obtain this 1 plus 1 half. And to that, we are going to add what we got here just a second ago, which is adding the we're actually the subtracting of minus 121 plus 1 over 22. And that written in parentheses gives us the exact same thing as minus 1 over 21 minus 122. So answer choice B. As I said, that is a hard one. Again, you may at home want to write this out a little bit more just to see how everything cancels out. But in general, the test, usually this should be enough. And then you can work your way backwards, go to the other extreme extreme of the range and eliminate the answers that don't work. And of course, we end up with answer choice B.